the next demonstration that I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the inner workings of the machining knowledge editor. Now, what is the machining knowledge editor? Everything that you saw in that dialogue that I was showing you, like the 250 finish, um, corner radiuses, things of that nature, that is all written in this logic here. So just like it had the, the plus symbols for your non-cutting moves, for your uh, step over, your cut levels, all of that is a listing inside of this database. So let's take a look at that. So you have the tabs down here. So right now we're in recognition. The, the dialog I showed you previous within NX, that is strictly machining knowledge editor operation set teaching. The machining knowledge editor also has recognition rules. So how does it recognize these parametric features? The different uh, information on what is it looking for when it says that I found a step two hole, what is the criteria for a step two hole? So we're working inside of this machining knowledge here. So inside the machining knowledge, we have our different options here, turning wire EDM, milling operation sets. So the operation set that we taught in there, it has the same exact conditions that were in that dialog, except they're in text format. So you can see how operation across voids follow. So these are settings. You can set different information in there, tool description, 3 8 end mill tool diameter. We can put logic in here to say 0.125 to 0.375. And then that will give us a, a diameter selection variable that the system can pick. Uh, flute length, we can tell it that for this particular tool, we only have one inch of flute. So we want to go 75% of that. Then we can also put in logic to say, if this feature, the depth grows in the pocket, then we need to have a longer tool. And this is how we're setting all of the criteria for how does it process the toolpath, how does it pick the tools, and what conditions is it allowed to do. All of these conditions here, operation boundary approximation false, collision checking true. This is saying that the operation is going to come to you with collision checking on. If I put false here, then the dialog inside of NX, when it, you, we would look at the collision detection dialog, it would be unchecked. So I mainly unchecked this one. So that's that's why you're seeing that here. But this is what you're doing. You're turning off and on pieces of that dialogue or setting information in the dialogue. So you can do feature-based manufacturing authoring in two ways. What I recommend for customers who are getting into this is do it, teach your operation sets. If you come against a feature that has a unique cut pattern and tooling, then teach it. And then if you come against another one, teach it. The system, it, it, it can handle as many features as you want to teach it. It's not until you get into an area where you understand this language well that you can have one feature and make it parametric. Parametric meaning that this feature that I'm seeing here, well, what happens if this feature gets wider, longer, or deeper? Or what if the corner radii change? the fillet in the corner radii. We could make one logic and then we could change all of those conditions and those rules to give it information to say, if it goes deeper, then pick a tool with the, the tool length criteria that fits that. We could even give it logic to say, use this, the shorter tool first. When I get down to a specific depth with a cut level depth of X, use another tool that's just longer to start from there and go to there. So we can build as much logic as we want in here. T feature teaching is exactly that. You're teaching all the specifics into this feature, into the knowledge database with that tooling. And if it runs against the same exact criteria, it will reprogram it exactly the same way. If you have feature types that are similar, but some of the attributes change, then you have to put that logic into your, your um, teaching. And you can do it in two ways. You can do it through the feature-based manufacturing knowledge editor, or we can do it within the teaching. Oh, I'm not sure what I did here. Oh, there we go.
we can do it through the dialogue. Yeah, it's not uh, allowing me. But anyway, the dialogue that we just we just seen, you can do it through there. You can change those parameters and it will update the machining knowledge database. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.